Welcome back, Dual Sided. Um, we're back for another clip, another video. Um, this one is to cover Thug Rose. Yeah. And, you know, Thug Rose shocks the w the world. Would yeah. you agree? Yeah. You no, know, uh, Zhang Wei Li um, came in with the uh, minus 200 favorite. Thug Rose was at plus 160. Um, prior to the loss, uh, Zhang Wei Li was 21 on a 21 win streak. 21 and 1. Now she's 21 and 2. Uh, Nama Yunus is now eleven and four. Yeah. Um, I mean, I thought Nama Yunus was gonna get knocked out. What do you think? Just just watching the uh, Zhang Wei Li fight from last last yeah, which year was the fight of the year. Yeah, that was definitely probably the best. Uh, that was the best fight I've ever seen, in my opinion. Even I, I would maybe even say male fighter huh? or female. No, for both the male fight that year was good because the Moreno versus. Uh, Davison fight that was good, but it wasn't as good as the Wei Li first Joanna fight. Yeah, that that was a that's where a uh, great fight. That's where what he what she have what was it called? Was it like him hematoma? Oh yeah, hematoma. That's where Joanna got a hematoma, and you know that's that's actually what you know kept me believing that Nama Yunus has a chance because Nama Yunus put um, Joanna out once, and then she beat beat her by decision. The next, the most recent one. Mm. And Wei Li couldn't finish Yuana, so I mean that's what gave me hope that Nam Yunus could get it done. But um, even before, I, and before we even get to the you know the beef or not even beef, just the the narrative that the media was trying to create. Uh, she's the Rose is the first woman in the UFC history to uh, recapture a title. So you know, I mean, she shocked the world. Like I think between this one or the main event, which one or main card? Like between. Masvidal and Usman, who do you think? Which one do you think was Usman more surprising? Better. Which one was surprising? Uh, it was surprising that Usman knocked him out that early, but I mean, this one I had not, like, I literally almost. Yeah, I thought, first of all, I thought, was, uh, I didn't think uh, Rose was going to win, to be honest. Yeah, I thought it was just, I wanted Rose to win, but I, I thought she had zero chance, but I mean, she proved everyone wrong, like she did the last fight versus Juana. Even she was an underdog dog on that one, too. Um, but, you know, before, like, people were trying to create a, you know, beef because Nama Yunus spoke to a Lithuanian media outlet, which is where she's, you know, I don't think she was born there, but that's her background. Yeah. And um, she stated in the quote, this isn't even the full quote, she's, she, people just, as you know, like, they're going to pull out just the, just the, what is it called? The, the, uh, the attention grabbing thing yeah. and what she said in the quote was better dead than red during her interview um but the full quote was and i quote the animosity and things like that those can be very motivating factors in short moments but in all actuality going into the fight there was i was maybe there was certain um rivalries and Things like that, but I always kept myself in control. I never really hated the person. I don't hate Wei Li or anything like that. There's nothing, um, you know. But I do feel as though I have, I have a lot for this fight, and what she represents. And um, you know, I would just, I would just trying to remind myself of you know all the, my background and everywhere that I come from and my family and everything like that. And I kind of wanted wanted to educate my training partner Chico. Camus on the Lithuanian struggle and just the history of it all. So we watched the other dream team, just like an overall sentiment of what we fight for. And so just after watching that, it's just a huge reminder of, yeah, better dead than red, you know? And I think, um, I don't, I, I don't think it's any coincidence that Wei Li is red, you know, she's a, that's what she represents. It's nothing personal against her, but that's a huge, um, motivating factor of why I fight and I fight for freedom and I get I've got the Christ consciousness I've got the Lithuanian blood and I've got the American dream and all those things I'm taking with me into the fights so, I mean that's the whole quote but which you, do you think and they just took one quote that obviously didn't sound too good and you know push their own narrative which I mean I don't think anyone agrees with communism was you know, but of, of course the, but that's for another debate. But you know, she was born in China. That's I don't. It wasn't even anything personal. Anything personal uh, directed towards 
uh, Zhang Weili, but I mean, people are gonna want that as the as the storyline. But when people took this comment the wrong way, she responded with, "It wasn't supposed to be a personal attack, even though people took it that way." But you know, this is what happened pr- before the fight. I think weeks, maybe that week, this week. Um, but for sure, she, it was creating, you know, beef. Even in the the face offs, you could tell that. Uh, Wei Lee was kind of like hesitant to shake her hand like mm-hmm. I don't know and even she said I could take her to China it, when we're done fighting or something which um, to Rose which I, I mean I don't know if she's gonna want her want to take her now after mm-hmm. that knockout even after the knockout she was all surprised and you know she was pr- protesting the stoppage with Keith Peterson you know stating that she was still conscious but I mean in reality no she definitely wasn't I mean, that's the one symptom you have where you don't, like, you forget you got knocked out, huh? Yeah. So, I mean, just this by far is the most shocking, you know, result of a fight, you know, not even to mention the Chris Weidman thing. Um, this one is, like, this one shocked me. Even Joe Rogan, you could tell that he was tearing up at the end, yeah. you know, interviewing her. And um, even bef- prior in the... Octagon when Bruce Buffer was in, uh, introducing them, he she was saying, "I'm the best. I'm the best." Yeah. So I mean, you know, she had confidence when not a lot of people thought she was going to win this fight, including me. So I mean, she proved me wrong, and a uh, great fight overall. And hopefully, you know, she's the new strawweight champion. So let's see who's next up for her. So this is dual sided. Another clip, another video. Follow us on. Uh, social media at dual sided and uh, thanks for watching <laughs>